A wonderful preservation story is unfolding along the Quinnipiac River in Fairhaven. Maritime historians have managed to save an old oyster barge that's nearly 200 years young. As News H. Jim Watkins reports, it's the last of its kind and it will soon be heading back to its original home. It might not look like much anymore, but this is a vital piece of New York's and New Haven's maritime history. An old oyster barge sitting on a marina on the Quinnipiac River in Fairhaven. I felt that it was, it was very important for this barge to survive and live again. New Haven artist and local historian Robert Greenberg has been one of the key players keeping hopes for the oyster bar afloat. Loving New Haven history, loving New York City history, I discovered that this barge had many lives in both locations. Built around 1830, the barge was one of many that lined the East River in Lower Manhattan, back when oysters were a huge international industry. But that all ended by the early 20th century. In 1921, the barge was towed to its Connecticut location and began serving up a product that never goes out of style. Now became a prohibition era speakeasy. That's what the word is, that the rum runners came through here and, and this was a, a place where that uh, activity happened. Later, it became a restaurant, then a piano bar, until it closed in 1987. Lisa Fitch used to come eat here with her parents. She bought the marina in 2007 and wouldn't listen to anyone who told her to tear it down. It has all the makings of a great historical package. You know, the, 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 the vessel has a lot to say. She ended up selling it for $1 to the New York-based Maritime Foundation. This is a huge piece of New York history, and this is the last one in existence. And being a fan of maritime history and a huge part of the New York oyster world, um, this kind of brings together everything that we're interested in. So now the plan is for the oyster bar to be dismantled piece by piece, moved back to the East River and fully restored, this time on the Brooklyn side. Lots of money still needs to be raised, but the fact that it has a future at all is a maritime preservationist dream come true. Jim Watkins, News 8.